A historic Johnson County home is getting a new home itself. The Jacob George home has been a staple of North Liberty. Now it's heading west to Oxford. Iowa's News Now reporter Netta Shema is talking with the new owner about all of that history and the logistics of moving something like this. The George House on Yarrow Way has been a staple in North Liberty. It was built in 1892, but on June 13th, this home will travel 16 miles to its new location on IWV in Oxford. And the new owner says it is worth every penny. There is a rich history behind the George House on 10 Yarrow Way in North Liberty. Jacob George was the VP of North Liberty Savings Bank in the 19th century. He owned 450 acres in town and a sawmill. He also built this massive Queen Anne Victorian over 130 years ago. A house just purchased by Terry and Heather Miller on a lot owned by Nicole and Matt Lepic for $1. I said, hey, Matt, we're super interested in this house. Can I look at it like today? And he goes, yeah, absolutely. He gave me the code and I called my wife and I was like, um, hey, babe, why don't you come over here for lunch? Uh, I got something to show you. But this house isn't staying in town and that purchase price comes with a catch. The house will have to be moved and it's going to the Miller's Farm in Oxford. That route isn't a straight shot. There's roundabouts with a 50-foot clearance, which doesn't leave much wiggle room for the 43-foot wide house. So they're going to squeeze it around the roundabout and through those two poles and down Penn Street. All the traffic lights will have to be removed between here and the interstate. The house will then travel through Tiffin over I-80. It'll be an expensive two-day process, but Terry says it's worth it. His wife will get her dream home, and Nicole Lepic says it's a win-win. The Millers get their house while freeing up a plot of land for the Lepic's own pricey project. We try to save as much as possible, We try, especially if there's something older that's beautiful that can be restored, always restore. Once the house is moved, the Lepics will continue working on a new development with condos and townhomes that should be complete by next year. As for yeah, the Millers, they'll begin the lengthy process of restoring the home. Miller says it's fitting. The George House was built on farmland and now moving to the farm that's been in his family since the 1950s, bringing things full circle. We want to make it look original, but also have some of the more modern amenities in it um, to where... Uh, we can use it for, you know, another 100 years. The cost to move this nearly 2,000 square foot home, $150,000, and it'll take nearly two years to restore it back to its original glory. In North Liberty, Netta Shama, Iowa's News Now.